Hello everybody! Pokemon Trainer Rob here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Blue. Last time we uh, went to the SSN, or we, we finished up the SSN. Uh, we had got the HM01 cut, and now we can actually cut this bush in front of the Vermilion City Gym. I know they actually did that in the last video before I ended the video, but for some reason it respawned. And yes, it's time to fight the gym leader. Let's do it. Now, there is actually a very complicated puzzle that actually goes along with this gym, and we can't, like, go straight up and fight the gym leader, obviously. As you can see, we have this door right here, and we can't break through this door unless we figure out the puzzle. But before we do that, let's go ahead and fight these trainers. All of his trainers will have Electric-type Pokémon. It's not going to be like the first gym where there were Ground-types instead of Rock-types. So, Sailor has a Pikachu. And if you couldn't figure it out, Shots Rocks is going to have his day here in this gym. Like, seriously, I'm pretty much going to solo every single trainer with Shots. Because, like... Like you guys know, like, he can withstand any electric attack, so... They'll have to rely on quick attack and tackle to actually take me out. I think, uh, the gym leader's last Pokémon actually has a few physical moves instead of just, like, tackle or quick attack, but that... that remains to be seen. Okay, Sailor also has a second Pikachu. Not going to be that much of a problem, though. Just going to take it out, just like the first one. If I can actually hit him. Yeah, Rock Throw is pretty inaccurate if you couldn't figure it out. That's why I choose to use Tackle on the second attack, just because it is more accurate and it can still do plenty of damage, just because Geodude is a very high attacking Pokemon. Okay, took care of that guy. Next we have another person over here. I believe this trainer is a rocker. Yes, he is. I don't know why he has a whip, though. Okay, so he's going to send out Voltorb. Voltorb is pretty fast, but again, doesn't really have any electric-type moves anyway, so this is going to be pretty easy. I'm going to try to use Screech on me, though. Yeah, I'll nose his tackle, which is not going to help him at all. Oh, Sonic Boom. Okay, that is going to be a problem. Uh, Sonic Boom is an attack that always deals 20 damage. Now, the further you go into the game, the more useless that move actually is, but right now that can actually be a problem, so... Let's get rid of him as soon as possible, and I believe Voltorb and Magnemite actually have that move, so... Okay, I think I'm actually going to switch for this. I'll switch to Weepin' Bell. Maybe get some Wrath Hacks going. How about some Rap Hacks and Poison? Thank you. Wow, that actually worked this time. So yeah, when you combine Poison with a move like this, it's very, very effective. See how effective it is? He's like losing health all over the place. Oh, it didn't work that time though. Oh well, we got him. Okay, Magnemite taken care of. Next we have another Voltorb. I'll go ahead and just use Weeping Bell again. Okay, let's... Yeah, let's use the same strategy. Uh-oh. Sonic Boom. Yeah, Sonic Boom's a good early move, especially when Pokemon have very, very low HP, but... Like I said, later in the game, it's not really that helpful. Unless you know it'll, like, take out a Pokemon or something. You know what, I'm gonna actually lose Weeping Bell right here, so I'm gonna switch out to something else. I'll go to Madam Puff. Madam Puff has high HP, so this should be pretty easy. I 
I'll probably have to go back and get healed before I fight the gym leader anyway, so I can heal up that damage that Geodude lost, and then also the damage that Weeping Bell lost, just in case I need Weeping Bell. I don't think I will, though. I think it's going to be a Geodude-only battle. Actually, I think I am going to use a Super Potion on Geodude. Just so he can take out this next guy. Okay, when I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict CO. What was his CO power? <laughs> Advanced Wars joke. Okay, he just has a level 23 Pikachu. Isn't this the same, like, Pikachu that we fought inside the SSM? So I think that one trainer that had one Pikachu also had a level 23 Pikachu. Only difference is my Geodude's actually two levels stronger than it was when I originally fought it. Okay, having a little trouble KOing this guy. That's okay though, I can use Tackle now. And this should take it up to level 23 if I counted correctly. No, it didn't. Oh well. Okay, I was kind of hoping for Shots to actually evolve after the Gym Leader fight, but I do not think that's going to happen, unfortunately. So, let's go back to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and then we can solve the puzzle, and then fight the Gym Leader. The puzzle's actually really annoying because, for a very simple premise, you actually get screwed over by the actual puzzle because basically what you have to do is you have to search all those trash cans until you find a button and once you do you have to find the second button without um, uh, triggering one of the incorrect trash cans so it's always the trash can right next to the button but you always have four trash cans on the same side so you never really know which button it actually is, so the puzzle itself is kind of confusing. Not really a puzzle at all, it's kind of just a small luck-based chance game. But there is, there are no negative repercussions if you lose, it's just that you have to start over again. Let's go ahead and try to find it, so... Let's see, yeah, there's trash in all of these. I might have to cut footage, in all honesty. Okay, it's one of these. Okay, so we found the first trash can, and the second button is next to it, which you would think it would be this one, because we haven't found this other button yet, but nope. And when you do that, the electric locks are reset, so you have to do the entire process over again. Which is just really, really annoying. If someone actually knows how this works, please let me know, because I am very, very curious. I think it's just really, really stupid how they made this puzzle. Okay, so we did that one. I'm going to assume it's this one. Dang it! <sighs> okay, well, let's do this one more time, and if it doesn't work, then I'll just cut to when I actually solve it successfully. Okay, there's one of them. Dang it! Ugh. Okay, hold on, guys. Okay, there we go, finally. Jeez, that took me like 20 tries, seriously. But anyway, we are ready for the boss of the Vermilion City Gym. It's Lieutenant Surge. Hey, kid, what do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat, that's for sure. I tell you, kid, electric Pokemon saved me during the war. What war? 
Was there like a civil war or something? Or, I don't know, freaking World War II with Pokemon or something? I have no idea. That's stupid. But anyway, here we go. Lieutenant Surge has three Pokemon. He starts with a Voltorb. Which could be a problem because of stupid Sonic Boom, but... I'll brave my chances for right now. Surge will also use a bunch of uh, X speed items to speed up his Pokemon. Which Voltorb really doesn't need that, but whatever, it's his decision. Okay, so the Voltorb went down pretty easily, didn't have to worry about Sonic Boom at all. And Shots Rock script level 23. Next we have a Pikachu. No need to switch, I'll go ahead and just brave it myself. Not like it's going to use any smart moves or anything like that. Oh cool, we actually got a critical hit there. That's nice. Okay, next we have Raichu, the evolved form of Pikachu. This will definitely be the toughest challenge, but I don't think we're going to have any problem with it. Its most, most lethal attack is Thunderbolt. But Thunderbolt does not affect me, so it's not going to be doing that. Instead, it might use Quick Attack or something, which will do decent damage, but not enough to kill me, that's for sure. And Raichu goes down. That was a very easy gym fight. Shots didn't even lose 2 HP. Or actually, he lost 2 HP exactly, so that was a breeze for him. And he's also one more level away from evolving, too, so I can definitely evolve him pretty soon. Surge is going to give us the Thunder Badge, and we're done. The Thunder Badge allows us to use uh, Fly outside of battle once we get the HM for that. And we also get TM24, which is Thunderbolt. I think I'm actually going to teach that to uh, Madam Puff, just so it'll have like another attack it can use, but I don't know, I might wait for that before I do that. I still need to teach a Bubble Beam after all. But yeah, we're actually done with Vermilion City, now we can actually uh, move on with the rest of the game, but there are a few things we can backtrack for, and that's probably what I'm going to be doing next, so... Uh, very quickly, let me go to the Pokemon Center so I can heal up the 2 HP of damage that I lost. I'm also going to heal up because uh, he lost some of his rock throw uses too, so it's not just because of the HP. And I guess while I'm thinking about it, I'll also go ahead and get Bubble Beam out of here, although I don't remember which number TM it is, so, and eh, never mind. I'll get it later. So what we're going to do next is we're actually going to backtrack all the way to Route 2, but we're not going to go the uh, backwards way to get there. We're going to be going through Diglett's Cave to actually get there. Uh, Diglett's Cave is a very short cave area. It's not very long, and... The only Pokemon you can find here are Diglett and its evolved form, Dugtrio, so this is not going to be like a very stressful or hard area or anything. But we will have a lot of wild Pokemon encounters, though, so that's one very annoying part. We can also gain some experience with Madam Puff while we're here, but... Eh, yeah, maybe not. This Water Gun is not going to be able to do very much. Oh! Okay, well, that was a critical hit, so it still probably won't do very much. So yeah, I'm probably just going to... Although, Madam Puff's not going to be able to run away very easily. That is one downside. I guess I can just cut out the trip back, so you don't have to watch that. But I at least want to show the trip there, anyway. Oh god, Dugtrio. 
Okay, this could be a problem. There's no way in hell that Madam Puff is going to survive that, so let's switch to... Well, I need a very fast Pokemon, that's for sure. Um, shoot. Let's go to Wartortle. I think Wartortle has the best defense anyway. Dud Trio can be a problem, so you want to try to get away from it if you can. It's really, really hard to run away from it, though. Because it has super high speed. But thankfully, we got away from it. Okay, another Diglets. Guess I'll go ahead and use Madam Puff again. I don't remember what level it learns Body Slam at. I want to say it's like... Maybe like 32 or something? I don't know, somewhere around there. It's in the 30s, I think. I hope it's not too much longer from now. Because evolving would definitely give it a big boost, that's for sure. Okay, one last Diglet before we escape. This one actually knows Dig, though, so that's going to be annoying if it tries to use that. I don't think it'll do that, though. Okay, it's going to growl at me. But we're going to destroy it. And now we can leave this place. We can talk to this guy. I don't think he says very much. I went to Rock Tunnel, but it's dark and scary. If a Pokemon's Flash could light it up... Yeah, that's a big hint. We'll need Flash to actually see inside that cave. Anyway, here we are back at Route 2. It may not look like Route 2, but it's actually across those little logs that are blocking our path. You can actually easy, easily get there by using Cut on this bush right here. And uh, I think I am going to do that. Because there's something we can actually do at Pewter City as well. Now that we have Cut. So let's cut that bush and then go back to Pewter City. And we're actually going to go visit the museum that's up in the north. We didn't visit it before because there's not much we can really do here until we have cut. Because if you go over here behind it, there is a bush we can cut. So once again, let's get out our far-fetched. Cut it down and then move over here. And if we go in here, there is actually a scientist. This one right here. He is going to give us this old amber, and in the future we can actually resurrect that fossil into a Pokemon. Much like the uh, Helix fossil we also got from the uh, Mount Moon Cave. So, we have two Pokemon fossils now. Very quickly going to heal my Pokemon because they did take some damage in the Diglett's Cave. And now we're going to go back to this little secluded area on Route 2 where we came from because there are a few items and uh, places of mention over here. So let's use cut once again. And if we keep going south, first thing we'll find is this house. In this house you'll find one of... or actually no, I'm not... I'm thinking of a different guy. But you can find this boy over here who is looking for an Abra and you can trade one for a Mr. Mime. Now I am going to trade Flashy to him, but I'm not going to do it right now, so I'll come back here later for that. And that is actually how you get Mr. Mine. You can't catch him in the wild at all in any of the first generation versions. And if you go inside this building, we have this professor over here. He is one of uh, Professor Oak's aides. And if you have 10 Pokemon on your Pokedex, he will give you HM05. Considering I have 35 Pokemon, that's more than enough. 
and he is going to give us HMO5, which is Flash, and now we can actually light the Rock Tunnel when we get to it, which is not too long from now. I'd say we'll be there in about three or four videos. And you can also find an HP up, which will increase your HP permanently. And here you can find a Moonstone. And I believe those are all the items worth mentioning here. I'm sure you could probably find a hidden one somewhere, but uh, that is actually going to be it for uh, probably this episode. I don't think I have really anything else to show, so I'm probably going to end the episode here. Uh, very quickly, I'm going to uh, warp back to Vermilion City, so I'll see you guys there in a second. Okay, I'm back in Vermilion City. Uh, now I'm going to talk about what I was trying to talk about earlier. In the next video, I'm going to be exploring this route over here, Route 11. We're going to go to the end of this route, we're going to get a few more items, and then, after that, we're going to go back to Cerulean City, and I'm going to make this official. In the next video, I am going to capture Mew, so that's what's going to be happening in the next video. So this has been Pokemon Trainer Rob, this has been Let's Play Pokemon Blue. I'll see you guys next time on more Let's Play Pokemon Blue. Later, folks.